More NFL fallout. Baltimore Ravens star Ray Rice plans to appeal his suspension. He's now saying a video showing him hitting his then fiance in an elevator was edited. ESPN is reporting that Rice's attorney plans to argue that the tape was cleaned up, leaving only a condensed version of what really happened that night. Nine on your sides, Ricky Mitchell sat down with a former NFL player who grew up in Tucson to hear his thoughts on the issues facing the league. Reaction to that. I let myself down. I let everybody else down. And for that, I'm sorry. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell apologized at a press conference Friday, saying he plans to implement new conduct policies to address the growing number of players accused of domestic violence. When I was in the league, it was a blanket policy. Former Buffalo Bills offensive lineman John Fina says he doesn't remember hearing of any players accused of domestic violence during his time in the league, but that doesn't necessarily mean it wasn't happening. That's always a catch-22. Is it worse now, or do we just see and hear? more now because of the devices in our lives and the pervasiveness of the media. Four NFL players have been pulled from the field accused of domestic violence since this video surfaced showing Baltimore Ravens player Ray Rice hitting his then fiance in an elevator. Roger Goodell's mistake was that if he did see that entire video, uh, he should have just brought it out into the open. If he didn't, why didn't he? That's kind of odd. If it, was, if it came to the NFL offices and somebody saw it and they didn't share it, that's a big problem for me. Although some have called for Goodell's resignation, FINA says Goodell deserves a second chance. He's done great things for the NFL, and should he be hanged for what might some people might consider a first offense? It, to suggest that he should resign is almost akin to saying that he was in the elevator and didn't prevent Ray from striking his wife or his then fiance. So I think you give him a guy a chance to redefine himself, redefine the league, redefine the strategy. Ricky Mitchell, KGA 9, on your side. And one of the four benched players currently accused of domestic violence is Arizona Cardinals running back Jonathan Dwyer.